Hi, I'm Sophie from Sophie's World. You know, one of my favorite things about the holidays is making personalized gifts. And so today, I'm going to teach you how to take a photograph of somebody you love and a coffee cup lid and turn it into the most fabulous duct tape ornament you ever did see. Let me show you how. So for this project, I'm going to be using scissors. I have my ruler, my work surface. I'm going to be using a disposable cup lid. And I've got a picture of my favorite young man. And I've turned this into a sticker already. Now, if you don't know how to make a sticker, go to my website and you'll find out how to make one very easily. And in this case, I've made my sticker so that it'll fit right over the middle section, right there where the, where the lower section of the um, cup is. So right there, it's right about that size. So I've also got some beautiful gem stickers and I've got my duct tape. I've got green and red candy cane in this case. For my sticker, what I ended up using is parchment paper, I needed uh, packing tape, and then I used a white backer. So if you are going to make your sticker, you're going to need packing tape, you're going to need a backer of tape, and you're going to need parchment paper. I've already made my sticker ahead of time here. Now, what you're going to want for this project is you're going to want four strips of tape. You're going to want two that are 16 inches long of green, and you're going to want two that are 16 inches long of the um, candy cane. What you're going to be doing is making a sticky strip. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here like this. And if you have seen my video where I've made my carnation, then you will know how to make this sticky strip. What we're basically going to do is hold one piece over the other piece and place it on top as smoothly as you can with about a pinky's worth of sticky sticking out the top. So when you turn this over one way, it's got sticky here. When you turn it over the other side, it's got sticky there. What you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to fold it over so that this sticky lines up with the bottom. Now you don't want to go overlapping all the way off the edge, but just close to the edge, about a sixteenth of an inch. Can you see that? A sixteenth of an inch there. Now for this one, instead of cutting very tiny, tiny, tiny fringes like we've done in the past when we made things like the carnation, what I'm actually going to be doing is cutting little pieces that are about a pinky width wide. So I'm just going to go snip and save. There it is, pinky, snip and save. And I'm going to do this with my other color as well, in this case the green. Now as you can see, I've already done these ahead of time just to save myself some time. I've also ripped myself a strip of this candy cane because I'm going to make a hanger out of this, but I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on. So now it's time to take my cup and I'm going to decorate my cup. What I'm going to do is take these strips and start placing them around the outside. Now, if you've decided not to make a sticker, if you've decided that you just want to cut yours out of paper and stick it in here at this point in time, you can do so. I'm going to hold on to this one because it is a sticker. If it was just paper, I could put this in here with paper and lock it in with my strips. So I'm going to place it one and then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to overlap and this is a different color here and I'm going to overlap this by a tiny little bit and I'm going to work my way around the cup. What I really want to do is make sure as I'm placing these that my outer side, my outer edge stays consistent. So see how it's all pretty lined up there? So I'm just going to keep going around and around the edge here. And if you get a crossover like that, just use a skinny piece of your other color to finish it off. There we go. So now I've got my basic frame. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sticker. And it's very important to add your sticker now because you're going to want to do this before you add your hanger because you're going to want to make sure that you line your hanger up correctly. So I'm going to figure, I'm going to figure out where I want to put the top of my, I'm going to put my top right there. So there's my sticker and I just place it right over top. Give it a little rub so that it stays in place nice and pretty. And now what I'm going to do is flip this over and we're going to make our little hanger. So I've got a strip here of tape and what I did was I ripped it so that I've got about an inch and a quarter and then I've got about half an inch there. What I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to fold this over to make a strip. So I'm just going to fold it one third up and one third over and so now I've got myself a strip. What I'm going to do is just take that and fold it over on itself and then I'm going to take this second piece here. I don't need all of it, I only need a little bit of it. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it right behind here, right on top. And then see those two pieces? See how they're stuck together there? Just going to take that knife. I've got to make sure that's my top. Check my picture because I don't want it to hang crooked. And I just tape this, those two pieces together, right like that, so that it just hangs beautifully. Now, if I want to, to add a little extra bling, I can just add these cute little diamonds. And this little fella, he is so cute that he deserves a little extra bling, I think. And there you have it, an amazing personalized ornament for the people that you love in your life. For more great ideas for family and home, come and check us out at soap-world.com. Mm -hmm.